With us now are Tommy and Amelie, and they are the Clairvoyants. Welcome to the show. Greetings. Thank you so Hello. much for having us. Hi, Donna. Hello. So you're contacting us from Hawaii. Yes. Yes, we are. Basically from our home office here right now. Since we do a lot online, uh, we can be basically like everywhere. So congratulations on all of your success. And I just want to know what happened first. Did you become successful and then become lovebirds? Or were you lovebirds and then you became successful? <laughs> That's a good question. Well, we started working with each other first. I wouldn't consider ourselves being successful at that time. We but, tried. But we tried. But we loved working with each other. And then we figured out a year later, okay, there's definitely something more going on off stage as well. And that's when we fell in love. Congratulations. How joyous. You have uh, been able to perform all over the world, here in New York, right at the Palace. You've been in Sydney. Uh, walk our audience through some of your extraordinary journey so far. So yeah, the last uh, couple years were like a roller coaster. So a, a huge major thing was definitely 2016 when we performed in America's Got Talent and we won second place because after that we went to Las Vegas, we performed at the Palace Theatre on Broadway. I mean, that was, I think, one of the best things we've ever did playing there, performing there over Christmas, over New Year, uh, having a full night every day, great audiences. And after that, yeah, we performed like basically all over the world. So currently we have tours in Europe going on uh, in a couple months. We have tours in America. Uh, we performed in Australia, in Asia. And the really cool thing about is what we do or what we experienced so far, it doesn't matter where you are. People love to be fascinated. People love to see what we do. And that's just the best feeling being on stage and seeing, watching the audience and they are smiling and they have like big eyes. And after the show, they come to you, they say, thank you. They hug you, they take a selfie uh, because that's why we're doing that for our fans. And we are really thankful that over the last couple of years, we experienced so many great nights and we met so great people. Now, for our audience, a lot of people know what a clairvoyant is, and some people don't. What is your act? What is it that you do? What's your talent? How do you perform? Well, clairvoyance means um, seeing something also from a different perspective. So that's like our band name. And we do everything that we love to do. So we do um, a lot of mind reading, of course, but that, because that's how people know us. But we also do illusions. And I even levitated once on stage. So we do everything we love. And I also, you know, since we're at home a lot right now, I try to keep Tommy, Tommy busy. And so I organized something. Oh. You know it, right? She's challenging me all the time. Because he gets bored pretty quick. OK. Yeah. Have you seen that before? I have seen that before. Yes. It's it's a Rubik's Cube. Yes, Where a Rubik's Cube. Have you ever solved one? Let me see what it does. I see it. Okay. Uh, wait a second. One, two, three. Oh, yeah. Here it oh. is. So, so. Uh, I need to find something new for you. Yeah, we always <laughs> like challenges. So we'll challenge ourselves with things. And it's it's a huge combination. It's mentalism, it's magic, it's fun. It's just a stage show, it's entertainment. Or at the moment, it's an online show, but hopefully it's soon. It's entertaining, I think. It will be back on live stage. Well, it's funny with the Rubik's Cube, because as you're showing me the Rubik's Cube, in my mind, I'm already doing the moves. Like I already remember, and the sound of it. You know, like there's a certain sound that the Rubik's Cube makes. Um, you were able to solve but we that. Have to say, that's great practice, you know, doing it in your mind before it's... you really do it. That's what we often do before we go on stage. You know, we imagine ourselves going on stage, having a great night, performing in front of the audience, because that helps a lot later when you're really on stage, because your brain thinks you already rehearsed it. You already experienced been there. It. You experienced it already and you can you know, get much more power out of it and really have a success on stage than later. 
I try to do that myself sometimes and even like last night when I was getting ready for uh, today and our taping and everything, um, I have a process like, you know, bubble bath, drink a glass of water because I want to make sure that my skin looks nice and dewy so that Jacqueline, my makeup artist, can put my makeup on correctly and everything. And so there's a certain process and I always try to get to bed, get to bed early. But then what happens is I get so excited like a kid, like the night before Christmas or my birthday or something. <laughs> and just the joy, you know, cause I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, I'm gonna be talking to the clairvoyance and oh my gosh, these people, you know, it's just, so I have to also then like meditate and like, okay. So there's a time, right? <laughs> there's a time you can prepare and then there's a time that you can breathe and sleep. And then when it's show time, isn't that the best ever? Like I was so excited to have you guys on because, uh, it, it, it brings so much joy to life, what you do. You have so many fans. What is the most interesting surprise along the way before we wrap? I, uh, because when you're clairvoyant and you kind of have an inner knowing, do you ever get a surprise? And what was the surprise for you both? So it's, for me, I just talk for myself, it's always hard to surprise a woman who can always <laughs> read your mind. But we can still have Christmas presents and we don't, uh, know what it will be so <laughs> but you know we can look into the future and that's how we work on stage too but one time we uh, had a couple on stage but they were not a couple it was just a woman and a man and we did an act with them together that they, they didn't know each other before and the act worked pretty well and she was so fascinated she proposed to him on stage but then unfortunately, her boyfriend was in the audience. Oh, <laughs> and I guess he didn't like that so much. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, there, there are so many uh, funny moments, especially when you perform on stage, you know, it, it's live. It's, it's not recorded. So every night is different. There are always different people. There are different thoughts. There are different objects. We always work with the objects from the audience. So for us, Every night, every single show is a different show and we always try to make best out of it. And that's what we love so much about what we do uh, because we never know what's going to happen when we walk on stage. And of course, we have a concept, and but at the end, it's all about the audience. It's all about real people, real human. And I think that's what makes it so fascinating. It's never getting boring. It's always exciting. Like you said before, you try to mentally focus and, and you're just so excited. That's how we feel too. And I think no matter what you do, it's the best thing that, that can happen to you because then you know you do what you love. And we can be very thankful for that. I do. Yes, absolutely. I have a magic trick too. You ready? So I have yeah. this full cup of coffee and abracadabra, hocus pocus, and shoo, the coffee disappeared. Where is it? Thank you. Thank you. Thank Where you. Thank you. It? Thank you. Wait. Oh, it's filling up and absolutely well. Here, I have some applause for you. <laughs> Thank you guys. You guys are just Great adorable job. and continued success on your journey. And I know that you have some videos that people can go online. They can watch. They can be entertained by you and happiness yeah, in Hawaii. So now now during, you know, a lot of people, they're still at home, you know, theaters, they're reopening slowly. So we decided to make a virtual experience for them. And on June 24th at 6 p.m. Pacific, we have our online show live on sessions. And that's going to be fun because it's for the whole family. It's interactive. And we try to make magic from our home office into their living rooms. I love it. Thank you very, very much for joining us. Um, take care of one another and keep uh, spreading joy throughout the world. So thank you so much, the Clairvoyance. Thank you thank so you much. So much. Oh, Have a beautiful day. I'm seeing, I'm seeing good things for you. Bye, Bye guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>